They're all dressed up for the harvest, land army girls who a little while ago were making dresses or dressing hair. Now they're raking hay while the sun shines. Instead of a permanent waver, an equally permanent baler, an ingenious machine which, unlike the girls, is always in the dumps. The dumper punches the hay into a hard, compact bale, and when the bale's the regulation length, it's squared off and separated from the next one by a dividing board. The great idea, as most young women learn sooner or later, is to keep on feeding the brute. When the dumper and the divider have done their work, the bale is wired and then stacked. Dressmakers have become haymakers and they're doing a grand job. Meanwhile, other land army girls are collecting straw for thatching. It's food for the mechanical thatcher which makes rick and thatch covers as well as matting for cold frames. It can consume two tons of straw a day. The thatcher takes the unthreshed straw between its teeth and binds it into lengths at an average rate of a yard each three seconds. The machine and the girls are certainly fast workers. Not only do the girls make the thatch, but they thatch the stacks themselves. Though they've been in the land army only a few months, they're already an expert gang and make a tour of the farms doing this special work. First they were called for, then they were called out, and now they're called in as professionals. Sometimes they make and use as much as 700 yards of thatch in a day and you can see that it's a skilled and tricky job. Good for you girls, we bear our own thatch in salute. 